you prepared today? I'm better prepared than I was yesterday. Two I pair never of gloves. warmed up yesterday. Never. So I'm wearing two pair of gloves, <coughs> two pair of pants, two sh no three shirts. I'm glad we don't live in Alaska. Man. <laughs> ain't no chance. I ain't even going to visit y'all. <laughs> Feed, and we're gonna check on your duck eggs. You think that it's time for them to be hatching, right? Let's get the alarm system fed so they'll hush. I scare nuggets gonna get ran over by mama. All right. All right, everybody. Nugget, go and get you some breakfast this morning, my man. They used to be throwing it over there. But we're still working over there. Alright guys, there you go. Y'all can see how much we got done. In the last video, we got a bunch of dirt left. We got a bunch of dirt cleared. So it is coming on. This was really, really low here, so that's awesome. All right. Mrs. Carl Kill is going to get back on moving the dirt. Me and Mary Carl are going to do the chores this morning. Ain't that right, Joe? Joe. And check on the duck eggs. What's up, girl? <laughs> Nugget, you still eating that corn this morning, buddy? Let's get some these other guys let's see how these guys are doing oh they got feed water looks good they look good the silky clan What y'all fussing at? What's up, ladies? There you go, girl. Find y'all. Nice little nesting hole in there. Alright, y'all look good. I feel people have been asking about the automatic door lately. Um, has is it is it still working? They hadn't seen it. Uh it's working great. Reason why you ain't seen it is because of, you know, shorter days, daylight savings, and all that kind of jazz. But it opens at basically around 5.30, closes around 8.30, and it's typically dark during those hours right now. So that's why you don't see the door, but it's working out great. So you're getting at it this morning. <laughs> What's up, Thomas? We got the water cut off. Cause it's been got pretty cold last night. Pete, Pete, what's up, girl? You up early this morning? Where's your jacket? <laughs> oh, everything look alright this morning. Yeah, good deal. We're gonna go check on these duck eggs. All right, so no ducks are hatching. It's been uh 30 days or longer so not looking good for the east is it east indies east indies, east indies duck eggs um we did have one thing to hatch yeah a chick a chick that came yeah. in the duck eggs and we, and we and you thought it was a chick to start with because you said it didn't look like a duck egg <laughs> yeah and, and so brooke 
mom contacted the people yeah. and said, hey, there was a chicken there, and they responded back, and they said, it is a what? Spitzhaven. A Spitzhaven. And we'll go show them that in the brooder. I was just in there looking at them. I don't know which one it is. So you'll show them. <laughs> so, no go on the duck eggs. Um, and, you know, it's wintertime. They were mail order. So, you know, things just happen. Just, uh, yeah. just as a warning or... Uh, just a word of advice when you order eggs through the mail anything can happen we don't know what the post office did we don't know if they were slung around we just don't know so when it comes to mail order eggs it's a gamble it's always a gamble yeah. all right so we will um i don't think we've we're supposed to be ready around day 24 25 yeah. so we're almost a week past that or maybe a week past it so pretty sure they are not gonna hatch. So we'll we'll get those out and get rid of those, and we'll find some more, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Besides, we got some hookbill eggs coming at some point. Yeah, and I have some little called up mixed eggs. Oh, that's that right. Found. That was the called up. If you guys remember a few videos ago, that was the one that was under the ultimate chicken coop that we found that we had no idea she was there. Um, so we gather those eggs up because we we're scared something a predator may get them. Yeah. And we I got. Mean, I love to let them sit on their own. That's but right. It would be too cold for the babies at first, and then the I, something could get her easily. Something she was a little get her. That's tiny right. chicken. I mean, not chicken duck. Duck. And she's just easy to target. <laughs> yeah, easy to target, and the eggs. Yeah. Anything could have got them. Possum, raccoon, dog. Uh, one of our dogs, Fox, yeah. so we decided to get those eggs, even though call ducks are extremely loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got call ducks. What else have we got in there? Anything um, else? That Cini's egg, the little top one, the little teeny uh -huh. one, I don't... You don't think it's fertile or do you not know? I don't know. Okay. And that one's a silky, the okay. other one. Uh, lots of goose eggs. <laughs> we got, uh... Well, let's go in there into the brooder. Yeah. And you show everybody what hatched here and what they are. Okay? Okay. Let's do that. What's up, Sally Mae? Pretty girl. Sally says she got to stay close to that heat light. All right. So, let us know what's going on in here. Yeah, it's a good bit warmer in here. Oh, yeah, it's warm. Come here. So this is one of the ones that I hatched. This is a cream leg bar, um, Polish frizzle mix. Look right there. Um, <laughs> Lucky wants to hear this. <laughs> Polish frizzle mix. It's a frizzled Polish mixed uh -huh. with a cream leg bar. Okay. There's two of those. You see that one right there? I see that. The ones that flipped out wings over there. I think they're both little roosters because when I do like this, they jump out. I see well, they do. They come right at us. And then two little silkies in there. Uh huh. There's the little tiny black one with the big head. And then there's a little silver one right there. Yeah. And. Which one is the Spitzhaven? Slide this. It's hard to tell because you can take the whole thing off. Okay. Got it. Um. Is little Richard a Spitzhaven? No, little Richard's a silky. That's little Richard, a little black silky right there. This is the Spitzhaven. Oh, that's the Spitzhaven. Yeah. This one. Okay, I see it now. That's the spit saving. That was in with the duck eggs. <laughs> it's funny looking, isn't it? It is. And spit savings are really cool looking. Yeah, they have like a little. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And What's that cream one? That's a, I see it's got feathered yeah, feet. Yeah, that's a silky. There's two silkies in and there. And that's the silky. Come here, little Richard. What's up, little Richard? He's so cute. Isn't it cute? Look at him. Oh my it's, gracious. He's definitely a bearded. He's definitely a bearded. 
That's because his big old boofy head. Yeah. That means it's getting too cold, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it means. Let's put that back on. Oh, that's a weird sound. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nugget! What's going on outside? You wanna come in here? Nugget said he wants to see these baby chicks. He's a sheriff around here. He gotta know what's going on. <laughs> All right, buddy. We are really loving this brooder from GQF. We put feeding water in here on the inside because they wasn't quite big enough to get it on the outside, but now, now they're now they're starting to eat it on the outside and they'll do the same with the water. What's up, ostrich? Oh, there's the O's this morning. That's big O and that's little O. And the reason why I can tell is is little O still got baby feathers. See them in the back? Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Once she loses those, it's gonna be impossible. Some people say we ought to put a colored band on them, but yeah. I hate stressing them out, catching them. Yeah. They, uh, I mean, they're friendly for a peacock. I mean, we can walk up to them, but they, they freak out. No, Lord, no. Uh -huh. In that corner, he got scared and he flew straight up. Yeah, they get, they get, they're a little nervous. Yeah, but, it's like they don't want to be caught up in a corner. Yeah, they don't want to be trapped, hemmed up. Look at those ducks sliding right under the goat pen tent. Hey, they just walked right under it. That's, that's a boofy mallard. Yeah, he's a dandy. And that's a snow mallard? Yeah. They're so pretty. All right, I got to uncover the broccoli. Then I'm going to cut the water on and fill water is up. All right, so we're gonna go check on the turkeys, or turkey. Yeah. This is Rhonda. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's Ruby. Oh, she's got the nest all to herself right now. I see her over there in that corner all by herself. There's three other, there's two other birds that sit with her. Uh-huh. There's a Muscovy uh -huh. and a chicken. Muscovy and a chicken. Oh, look, here comes the Muscovy. So that's the Muscovy that sits in there with. I see her. She sits in there with her, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, that's her nest in the back. Yeah. What's she sitting on? Everything. A few chicken eggs, a few Muscovy. Look, she's telling her to move a little bit. Mm. And a few turkey eggs that aren't gonna hatch. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gracious, y'all. All right, let's uncover our broccoli for the day. Let's see how it did last night. It got into the upper 20s. And, oh yeah, we look good. We are okay. Awesome. Everything did else, everything else did okay. So we're good. Good deal. Check out some carrots. I just love pulling these carrots up. Look at there. That's a Yellowstone. That's gonna be a good one. I think these are Yellowstones too. Yep. Now I don't thin my carrots out. I just don't have that kind of time. And I don't care if I get these humongous carrots. As long as I get a bunch of carrots. And we're going to have a mess of carrots. Let's wash these off and have us a little snack this morning. Mm, it's so good. It's so good. Mmm. It's so good. Nugget, you want some carrot tops? Yeah, get you some. What you think? Good stuff? Nope. That. <laughs> Here you guys go. Nugget said no to carrot tops. 
Oh, there's Cleo. Cleo's gonna go get her some carrot tops. You can actually eat the carrot tops. Uh, we've put them in salads before. So this is Miracle's birthday present that we just got her. If you missed that video, it was a you know video two ago. Go check it out. It is just some pins that she can have fun with, do several things with. Let's go put this sucker down there. Peaches, I need your help. Come on. Oh. You just want me to pitch you. That's all you want. Yeah. Go see if Carl wants to come down there. What you doing? Pressing, the flower press. Pressing flowers. Putting some stuff in the flower press. Ooh, look at there. That's going to be pretty. Ooh, ooh. So you got some orchid flowers. A big old clover. Yeah. Lots of pansies and Johnny jump ups. That, that one's good. And you got some ivy. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. And you've already done some. Where are they? Um right here. Oh there they are. Here's some that you've already pressed. There's some Johnny jump ups and pansies. Oh yeah. Where's your orchids? Can you have an orchid that was pressed that was pretty? Here they are. What's this? That's them. There's your orchids. You've got some pressed orchids. Ooh. Nice. And I have some pansies down there. Got some more pansies. Cool. You've been loving this Christmas present. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm fixing to go put your cages down in the uh, okay. brooder. Isn't that where you say we want to put them? Yeah. Okay. All right, in the brooder they go. Okay, you can come with me. Well, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I cannot believe it fit in here good. <laughs> I just knew it was gonna be too tall, but it's not too tall at all. It fits perfectly in here. All right, so this is what's going on. I was putting the uh, thing together for Mary Carl, the little chicken pen. Um, Mrs. Cockhill is completely through with moving the dirt. She's got it all pretty much moved. And um, so, no big deal. No worries. No threats of getting stuck or anything like that. Well, she was at the top of our property where the dirt was piled and she was just kind of cleaning it up because she had told me she had got it all moved and then I hear the engine cut off. I thought well she must have run out of gas. So let me go check on her. Well, I come up here and she says she's stuck. Well, my initial, my initial thoughts is, well, this isn't too bad. This isn't mud, this isn't too bad. Well, it is bad. Um, of course, I try to get her understanding all the weight in this thing's in the back. This thing is extremely heavy in the back. That's why you can pick up so much in the front. And so she said she was just trying to make this path a drain down through here and then it dropped off and of course the back dropped down and you see the front's up it's a complete drop off right there so you can't go forward or it's gonna to my opinion is gonna roll so i thought well my mission my like i said my initial thought was i could come on out well there's nowhere to hook a chain up here at the bottom and when i hook a chain up here at the top when i try to pull it out it's just digging into the earth right here and there's chunks of concrete right here so it is uh it's not stuck as in like mud stuck like sunk stuck but it's just in a bad predicament it is 
440. It gets dark here between 5 and 530. And there's a wintry storm coming. So I don't know if we're going to get this thing out. This was not where I wanted to end this video at all. trying to dig out around that rear bumper to see if that works. Tractor's acting up, figured out what's wrong with it. Totally found out there's trash in the gas tank that I gotta pull the tank out and get that taken care of. So we're trying our best to get it dug out with the tractor as we can. Now we're gonna try to do some with the shovel. It's just like it has no traction. Well, it's just all the weights back here that's why you can pick so much stuff up with it because it's just it's and just that's why i can go forward and not backwards of weight. yeah that's why i can go forward not backwards you know one one thing i think when the truck's pulling it mm -hmm. it's pulling it down in the ground yeah because i don't have anything to hook it to the bottom i'm saying i wonder if it hooks it up to the bucket of the tractor no that tractor ain't going good uh I think we kind of need it to be a slope. Like and it is? And hopefully the tires can get up on it and get out. And not keep digging. That's my phrase. Just going to keep digging down in the bank. I think the only way to go is forward. I think we're also going to drive it forward. Don't you? Maybe. Then I worry about getting stuck down in there somewhere. Yeah. You think dig behind this tire? Right in here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try pulling it out with the truck again. Got it dug out a good bit. See what happens. You can still get out, right? Yes, I'm fixing to put the key in and park it. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yeah. I ain't never written another one. I didn't think it was gonna come out for real this well, time. I didn't either. I, Holy cow. I'm, I'm not like, I'm not believing that worked. I'm just um hmm. I'm a, look at where it was stuck? a little nervous. My, nervous. my anxiety's up a little bit. Oh my gosh. You see why we couldn't go forward? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I like to went forward. <laughs> it just dropped off. Look. Look at here. See, that's what I kept telling you. It was a complete I drop off. I, I wasn't scared to go forward. <laughs> Baby, got to have a mama. I was going to go forward. That's kind of a hole, though, isn't it? Well, once we hey. got that concrete and all out. Hey, huh? I'm going to finish cleaning up, okay? <laughs> I ain't finished what I was going to do. <laughs> you going to make me say some ugly words. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're going to see all these holes when they come to get it Gosh. tomorrow? I'm going to park it down at the other end. Okay. I didn't know if I needed to keep pulling you or no, what. No, no, I didn't. I'm good. Okay. I, I thought for a second I was going back into the truck. Hey, Al. Oh my gosh. We ain't getting one of these. No, we're not. We ain't getting one. What's up, Al? Let me get the chains off. Oh, gracious, a lie. What we ended up doing is, is taking the tractor and digging that bank out a little bit. I didn't think it was gonna work. I didn't think it was gonna work. I thought it was just gonna keep digging in the bank. So we kept working it and kind of making it graded and at a slant thinking if it was to pop up, maybe it wasn't digging that bank, maybe it'd come on out. And uh, that's what it did, I can't believe it. Whew, what a weekend. You guys have been a part of it. <laughs> Hey Nugget, we're done with the Bobcat. We got it stuck three times this weekend. That's done. We're through with the Bobcat. So guess what? You can run till your little heart gets tired of running more. I know you're upset. We just didn't want you to get ran over by a Bobcat. You know what I mean? 
Who what a crazy weekend with that Bobcat, guys. Boy, I'm glad that is over. I'm glad you guys were a part of it. Hey, if you have not checked out our podcast channel where we sit around, tell stories, have a good time, laugh, y'all check that out right over here. I think you'll like it. Y'all be good.